Hey there legend, in this tutorial I'll be making a checkerboard blend mode. This is a neat little project to get you started with creating some custom blend modes in wire for Arena and Avenue. Let's get started. Let's get the fundamentals down first. To create a blend mode you need 5 nodes. I will create 2 texture in nodes and hook them up to a video mixer. Next I'm going to patch the output of the video mixer to a texture out node. Finally, I'm exposing the opacity slider at the top and rename it to opacity. We've essentially made an alpha blend, but to make sure it is working, let's save it and test it in Arena. In the patch panel, set the category to mixer, give it an intimidating name and hit save. Now let's move over to Arena to see our creation. Excellent, that works. So time to implement the checkerboard pattern. To get started, we'll make a checkerboard node. This outputs a checkerboard pattern as a texture. We will use this pattern as a mask for the incoming texture. I'll create a mask node, hook it up to the texture in and use the output of the checkerboard node as the mask. When we look at the mask and the checkerboard nodes side by side, we can see that the white squares are still visible after masking and the black squares are masked out. Congratulations, you have just mastered the basics of masking. Next, I will disconnect the opacity slider and set the opacity of both video mixer layers to full. This is because we are going to manipulate the actual mask and not the opacity. I will connect the opacity slider to the second color of the checkerboard node. Now I am able to fade the mask. But let's rewind a bit to explain what's going on here. The opacity slider is just a float in with a fancy name. In the end it just provides us with a float value between 0 and 1. The checkerboard node wants a color, which is a float 4 type. But the checkerboard can also work with a single float. It will simply use the opacity value for each element in the float 4. This can be seen when we hover over the inlet. My opacity value is used for the red, green, blue and alpha channel of each color. This gives us a range from full transparency to solid white. But that's enough background info for one day. Let's move on with building our patch. We can now fade the checkerboard mask to create a nice blend. But you might notice that at zero opacity we still see our texture, which sort of defies the purpose of a blend mode. To fix this we'll fade the white of the checkerboard too. Hooking up the opacity to color 1 doesn't work, that will end up in creating a solid white. Instead I'll use the multiply node to increase the opacity with a given factor. I'll multiply with 1.5, because I have prepared this tutorial really well and know that that will look pretty, but feel free to experiment. At an opacity of 0, we'll multiply 0 with 1.5 and still have 0, which gives us a fully transparent checkerboard and therefore no mask and in return no texture. But at an opacity of 0.5, color 1 will actually be at 0.75 and color 2 will be at 0.5, giving us a smooth fade. At an opacity of 1, color 1 will be 1.5. Which is not a problem, because you cannot increase the visibility beyond 100% unless you have some sort of x-ray superpower thing going on. With that working, we'll expose the rows and columns of the checkerboard to make it more tweakable. And while we're at it, let's create a float-in node with a range of 1 to 2 to control the multiplication factor. You even get to call it factor and use the factor suffix to look like a real smartass. Now let's save that patch and move over to Arena to see it in action. Well done, you can be proud of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to write anything you need to get off your chest in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.